The Gospel reading today is from John chapter 12, beginning at verse 44. Glory be to you, O Lord. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak, and I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of God our Creator, Saviour and Sustainer. Amen. In these days, as we have to live differently, I wonder whether you have heard anyone say that someone or something is a godsend. Who or what has been a godsend for you? A telephone call? A letter or a postcard, perhaps? Someone who's done some shopping for you? Or collected medication. Perhaps it's not a word that you use very often. Perhaps you are a godsend to other people. Today, the 6th of May, is a special day for me and my family. It was my late mother's birthday and it's also our son's birthday. He was my mother's first grandchild and he is Jonathan, which means gift from God. The reading started with the words, then Jesus cried aloud. So this was a public occasion. Perhaps there was a crowd, not just his disciples, his family, his friends. Perhaps some of the Pharisees were listening. Some like Nicodemus, liking what they heard, curious to hear more. Some wanting to gather evidence that would justify arresting him. And the words are like a summary of Jesus' teaching so far. They bring out themes that John's Gospel keeps mentioning. In just seven verses, Jesus refers three times to the one who sent me. In the whole of John's Gospel, and more than in any of the other Gospels, Jesus refers over 30 times to God as the one who sent me. So Jesus is clear that he's been sent by God and that anyone who believes in him believes in the one who sent him, and that anyone who has seen him has seen the one who sent him. We Christians today believe in Jesus and in the one who sent him, and are blessed because we believe without having seen. Then Jesus talks about bringing light into the world, so that everyone who believes in him will not remain in darkness. Remember that Jesus earlier said, I am the light of the world. We who are Christians are also called to bring light, the light of Christ, into dark situations. Emphasising the importance of accepting his words, Jesus says that he came not to judge, but to save the world and to speak God's words about life that is real and everlasting. We, as Christians, have the words of eternal life to hear, read, learn and inwardly digest and to live by and to share. Jesus affirms his relationship with God the Father. For Christians, that may seem obvious. We're used to hearing that Jesus called God Father. But for many of his Jewish contemporaries, it was blasphemy and another example of evidence to bring against him. 
Do you remember one of the first resurrection appearances of Jesus to the disciples? It's in John chapter 21, when he said to them, Peace be with you, just as the Father sent me, so I send you. Jesus sends us who are Christians to go in peace, to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ, to love our neighbours, to be a godsend. Amen. <laughs>